Savings. And tonight, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves playing against the New York Knicks here in New York, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. Hey, Allie. Rudy Gobert has had his skeptics. He said, quote, no one ever thought I could be an NBA player or one of the leaders on my team. It's the story of my life and something that I embrace. The better you get, the more people talk. So I take every criticism as a compliment. Either way, you cannot let it affect you. Brian? Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Rudy Gobert is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Conley in at point guard. And for New York, at the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Grimes in at the point. And in trading for Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves taking a Twin Towers approach with two seven-footers in their front court. Of course, the outstanding shooting of Carl Anthony Towns means that spacing shouldn't be much of a concern. Here's Grimes. Pass to Randall. Nice D from Anderson. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space, just clanked it. Here's McDaniels. Left side, Anderson. Back to Daniels. Six on the shot clock. Gobert against Randall. Tries again. They get it again. Anderson gets the bucket. Uh, Anderson. Anderson finishing through contact. I like to see him make the mid-air adjustment to get that ball off. Outside Barrett. Here's Grimes. And it's off from three-point range. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Pass to Conley. Anderson with it. Outside Conley. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Now here's Barrett, stolen by Conley. Pass to Edwards, back to Conley. For three. No good there. New York goes the other way with it. Last time they met was in Minneapolis, where they beat the Timberwolves. <laughs> they really threw their weight around last time. They got to the free throw line a lot, and it helped secure the win. No doubt that's what made the difference. The aggression they showed, attacking, drawing contact. It got them points at the line and made foul trouble a big concern on the other side. Conley nails it from beyond the arc. Well, Conley can be a volume score from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. Inside. Knocked loose. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. There is nothing like the atmosphere of opening night in the NBA. Grant, the players get just as pumped up as the fans for the first game of the season? I think they do. I mean, everybody, players, coaches, organization, fans, everybody gets excited for opening night. It's impossible not to. All the work these players put in over the offseason, the training camp preparation, it pays off right here and now. That free throw, no good. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. Now, both teams trying to prove that New York belongs to them. And he can't hit the second. It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. That's <laughs> so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more star players lately. Top three agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. Now here's McDaniels. Just five to shoot. 
uses the glass on the layup. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Right side, Barrett. Pass to Randall. Shoots a fadeaway. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. And you can see the touch and the improvement in that Channel touch right there. Nine, now McDaniels. Here's Conley. Can't cash it in from close range. For New York, they've gone just two for four from the floor. McDaniels against Barrett. Now here's Brunson. He's covered closely. Barrett passes to Randall. No good from outside. Minnesota in the lead. The floater. McDaniels up top, guarded by Barrett. Back to Daniels. Here's Gobert, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Rudy Gobert. One shot. Falls for Gobert. A defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound the rock. Pass to Brunson. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. Outside Conley. Edwards for three. Offensive board. Man, he's bringing the energy. The efficiency. I love what he's doing offensively. New York trailing. It's Barrett on the wing. Pass to Grimes. Offline with a three for Minnesota. They've got half their attempts to go, six of 12. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. Two shots. Throw good, Edwards. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set for him. Yeah, I think he can. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. New York has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Outside Brunson. Pass to Grimes. Outside Barrett. Robinson against Gobert. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Rudy Gobert picks one up. A lot of people like Mitchell Robinson because he does Mitchell what he's Robinson. told to do, and that is stay line. in the lane. It's where he does a lot of damage, both defensively and offensively.
And the first one at the line is good. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. No good on the second free throw. You think back in that 21 season, finally the Knicks breaking back into the playoffs. You know, it had been seven years since they got there, and Coach Thibodeau receiving the Coach of the Year honor, well-deserved. Here's Barrett. There's the drive. Oh, <laughs> R.J. Barrett getting up there. Dunk contest, anyone? Minnesota's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Outside Edwards. Back to Conley. Outside, Anderson. Fires the three. Offensive rebound, Timberwolves. Edwards, the pass to McDaniels. And a miss there on the triple. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. It was such an impressive season, and yet New York couldn't quite replicate their success the following year, Brent. Yeah, B.A., they made some moves, and they were hoping to bolster the roster in some ways, but it just didn't go as expected, and now they're retooling again. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Edwards with it, and it's Brunson picking him up. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. I have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Anderson against Randall. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. It's the 2K leaderboard showing the teams with the most points off turnovers last season. Number one, Minnesota. Their defense led to offense, and no team was better at forcing miscues and capitalizing at the other end. And the Knicks call time here. You know, last year was all about forward progress for the Timberwolves, recording their second winning season since 2005, getting on track for future success. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. Hart comes in for Grimes. For New York, they've gone five of nine from the floor. Right side, Brunson. It's tipped! Such a good defender, Torian Prince. Physical, good lateral movement and has the tools there to snuff out a shot. To the paint. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! So what do you think the keys are that could help Minnesota continue to grow over last year? Well, you know, there's always room for guys to improve their game. But I think it's really the intangibles, building trust amongst players and becoming a more mature team. Now here's Barrett. From about 19, perfect night so far, two for two. Well, that's a good confidence builder right there as RJ finds some room from the mid-range to knock it down. Outside Edwards. Back to Noel. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Ball stolen. Here's Prince. Pass to McLaughlin. And here's Edwards. Here's Prince. Guarded by Barrett. Prince down low. Just three to shoot. Here's McLaughlin. Can't get it to drop. And New York will come the other way. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Hard with it. Back to Barrett. With the teardrop. Good D by Gobert. Minnesota in the lead. Here's Prince. Hits the trifecta. Prince. Prince has got five Three now. Go. Well, good timing on that shot as Prince got himself into a good space before knocking that jumper down. Here's Barrett. Two points. That one goes. Timberwolves. The Timberwolves shooting about 43% since tip-off. Pass to Noel. Outside Edwards. 
Here's Noel. Beyond the arc. And it's Brunson with the rebound. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Two minutes. And now here's Barrett. Two minutes. Five to shoot. Pass to Hart. Here's Randall. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. So active and understanding more and more with his experience where to be to get offensive 17. rebounds is Julius Randle. And Minnesota calls time here. Minnesota. And for Julius Randle, back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. But give Randle credit for coming back and carving out a great career. Toppin, he's checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Barrett. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Rivers comes in for Edwards. And it's McLaughlin missing. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. To the middle. Here's Hartenstein. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Timberwolves. And now just a three-point Timberwolf lead. 19. Pass to Noel. Here's McLaughlin. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Now here's Brunson. And here's Hart. Takes a three. Reed with the rebound. A chance at a two for one. You have to find ways to use the clock to your advantage. Here's Prince, guarded by Toppin. On the wing, Noel. To end the drought! That shot off. And New York the other way now. Hart passes to Quickly. Fader on the way. The shot no good. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And at the, end of, the, and at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The T-Wolves on top, up three. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after... in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, let's quickly break down the game, what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass, that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. On the court for Minnesota, we've got Mike Conley. Torian Prince is out there with Rudy Gobert. Then it's Jaden McDaniels. And it's Rivers in a shooting guard. They got a piece of it. Man, those signs right there of RJ being that alert on defense. Man, he could be good on that side of the ball. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him. Five on the clock. Here's Prince. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Prince has got seven points in the game. Well, if the defense is going to give that up, Torian Prince is going to take full advantage of it. Barrett with it. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. Well, Brent Canada is well represented in the NBA these days. R.J. Barrett may be leading the charge. Man, if you put together a team of nothing but Canadian players, you'd have a pretty strong five out there. And Barrett's a guy who might be the leader of that squad. 
No good on the free throw. You know, the point forward is an archetype that by now fans are familiar with. Grant, you were one of the OGs at the point forward. How's that position evolved in your mind? Well, it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward. Before me, there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s. But as I said, players today, the skill level is so elite. And with this positionless basketball that we're in, you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful. Outside Conley, takes the three, sinks the tray. Mike Conley. Give him eight. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. Randall, the pass to Barrett. Here's Grimes. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Sinks it from distance. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, the Knicks trying to find their way back to the playoffs. Coach Tom Thibodeau said, you can't look backwards and you can't look too far down the road. You just have to take a look at today. Lock into what we have to do and focus on how we can be better. Back to you. No shortcuts to greatness, Allie. Thanks for that. Since hiring At Tom Thibodeau, every year the Knicks have been at the bottom of the league in pace. Well, Thibs rhymes with grind, doesn't it, B.A.? I mean, it doesn't really, but it should. The first one falls. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Minnesota, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Pass to Rivers. Here's Prince. Check by Randall. Here's Rivers. Now here's McDaniels. Fires for three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Grimes. He's guarded by Conley. It's Hardenstein, high post. Outside Barrett. There's the three. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Oh, RJ right there moving without the basketball, and that helps him to get to an open spot on the floor. That creates the rhythm. Now here's Conley. Guarded closely. Here he goes. Hart with the defensive effort. New York has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Barrett up top. Ten points for him. Misfires there. Four for six in the game now. Minnesota has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's Prince. And the three off target. The Knicks have got two of three shots to go in the second. Here's Grimes. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Well, Randall, when he has the ball in his hands, aware that there might be an open teammate that time he found it. 29. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Rivers. From the arc. McDaniels, that's good. McDaniels got seven. I like that. Staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Time to get loud now, everyone, because it's time for a teacher talk. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. Outside Hart. Pass to Randall. They double Randall. Prince grabs the miss. For Minnesota, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Here's Gobert. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The length of Gobert is a problem for any defense. And of course, he uses it so well to draw contact while shooting. 
And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Timberwolves. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Well, we should also mention how hard they've been working on the offensive glass, just coming up with second-chance scoring opportunities. Those can be deflating. The first free throw is good. He makes one or two that time. Julius Randle, a nightly double-double threat. A guy who can occasionally drain the three, but when he first entered the league, many considered him just to be a role player. Well, that role has changed. Pass to Prince. Outside Conley. Back to Prince. Six to shoot. Second chance shot. The Knicks with the rebound. Randall's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Down low. Hartenstein. Book it. And it's Randall with the assist. Well, since accepting a bigger role, Randall has really blossomed. Well, it's great to see him evolve over time and actually be a just taking on more responsibility. And with the way his game has blossomed, you can see why. He's a big part of this team. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Outside Conley. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Conley's got five points in the quarter. He's such a savvy offensive player. Conley's basketball IQ and shot selection are both phenomenal. Now here's Hart. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Hartenstein, no good. For Minnesota, they've gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Conley against Barrett. Pass to Rivers. With some arc. And he lays it in. Austin Rivers. And now a three-point Timberwolf lead. Ooh, an effortless floater from Austin Rivers. Now a timeout called by New York. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You gotta make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Some changes for Minnesota. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Anthony Edwards in for Rivers. It's Barrett on the wing, guarded by Edwards, outside Hart. And again, the Knicks missing. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You gotta be able to hit the easy ones. Anderson passes to Conley. The Knicks with the rebound. Randall's got rebound number eight now. And Conley grabs the miss. For Minnesota, they've gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. It's Edwards on the wing. Pass to Prince. Here's the three. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Wow, Prince has a little daylight, and that shot looked true. New York trailing. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Josh Hart listed at 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that. He does. I mean, just so strong on defense in the post, B.A. Often will guard up a position, and his rebounding numbers show he plays well above his listed height. That free throw misses. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. The Timberwolves also with a sub. McDaniels is checked in for Prince.
He hits the second from the line. Minnesota's gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Outside Edwards. Pass to McDaniels. It's hauled in by Robinson. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Hard up top. Robinson on the wing. Clock at six. For three, Barrett. No luck on that one. And Minnesota the other way with it now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. McDaniels with it. Randall's in his pocket. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. For the Knicks. Quickly is checked in for Barrett. And Brunson is subbed in for Grimes. Reed's checked in for Minnesota. McLaughlin comes in for Mike Conley. New York has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. That's it fly. And again, the Knicks missing. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Back to quickly. to Hart. Three-pointer. Knocks it down from distance. Too much space on the perimeter. There needs to be a little more energy from the defense. Minnesota calls time here. Timberwolves timeout call. It's time for teachers. Noel, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Noel. Side Edwards. Pass to McLaughlin. Let's go with a three. The Knicks pull it in. Here's Hart. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Second shot opportunity. Robinson with the block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. Minnesota in the lead. Here's McLaughlin. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Here's Reed. And the layup is good off the glass. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Outside Hart. Back to Brunson. 4-3. And it's Noel with a rebound. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Up and in on the layup. And it's an 11-point Timberwolves lead. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Hart finds quickly. Goes up on the wing. Offensive rebound. Robinson in the post. Reed defending. Second chance effort. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Mitchell Robinson is one of the best finishers that you have down low in the NBA. Two shots. And he makes a first. So for the Knicks, 
Toppin comes in for Randall. And Fournier is subbed in for Hart. And both free throws good for Robinson. Minnesota with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Pass to Noel. Here's McLaughlin. Brunson defending. Who poked away. Robinson with a steal. Quickly outside. And here's Brunson. Outside Fournier. Now here's Quickly. And here's Brunson from the arc. The next rebound. A nice shot by Toppin. This is really where Toppin can do a great job on a nightly basis of providing that energy. Get on the glass. Outside Edwards. Pass to McLaughlin. Floats one. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Brunson. Here's quickly. The shot off that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 11. And count it! The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. One shot. Free throw drops for Anderson. Tough to match up with Kyle Anderson because of how quirky he plays. Changing speeds, plays slow, but sees the floor remarkably well. Quickly passes to Brunson. Outside Robinson. On the wing, Fournier. Shot clock at six. From about 19, Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got seven rebounds in the game. Who was stolen by Fournier. Some solid defense from Edwards. Here's McLaughlin. Some solid defense from Brunson. Pass to Quickly from behind the arc. No luck on that one. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves burning this break in the action up 10. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, Coach, this first half has been a struggle. What's been the problem? Lack of intensity. We're back on our heels. They're attacking us. We're not getting much done. Guys, they'll look to be the aggressor in the second half. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They really poured it on in the second quarter, building the lead to 10 points. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? The production they've gotten from their bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good, Ernie. As we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that tonight. And who knows, it might get the start as a kick in the pants. No one wants to be outshined. And Kenny, your take on New York? Well, the effort hasn't been there in terms of rebounding the ball. They're getting outworked in that part of the game. But you've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Here come your Knicks, the Astros. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books.
Well, the Timberwolves shooting around 41%. At forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Grimes in at the point. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. Randall, the pass to Barrett. Timberwolves. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. Anderson. That'll be a second Seven foul of the game. No and that shot was First going nowhere foul. thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Barrett against McDaniels. Outside Barrett. Clock at six. Over McDaniels. Barrett can't hit. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Anderson against Randall. Outside Anderson. To the inside. Conley. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Yeah, there are nights where Conley has to do it himself. And that's the sign of a veteran point guard. Knowing when you have to take over. Pass to Grimes. Now Brunson. Here's Grimes. From outside the arc. Edwards pulls it in. Edwards got four rebounds now. Here's McDaniels. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on R.J. Barrett. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Jaden McDaniels at the line. Two shots. falls for him. It's both from the stripe. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Brunson. Randall left side. Here's Grimes. He's guarded by Conley. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Nick's ball Nick's as New York keeps possession. Now off the inbound. And there's Brunson. That one's good. On the assist from Robinson. Brunson's got six. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. Conley passes to Edwards. Back to Conley. He's got it. Six of ten now. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Barrett. Pass to Brunson. Here's Grimes. Outside Brunson. Six to shoot. Over Edwards. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got four points now in the quarter. The Timberwolves shooting the ball at 43% from the field. McDaniels with it. Back to Conley. And no good. Good work defensively by Robinson. Pass to Grimes. Right around three minutes into this second half. Tipped. And he's able to get it back. Brunson misses. The Timberwolves have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. The ball's knocked loose. And here's Edwards outside. He drops it from range. He has six. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. 
Outside Barrett. Pass to Grimes. Launches a three. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Edwards against Brunson. Edwards can't hit. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Barrett. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First person. Barrett hanging tough on that play. He gets the shot off, and he just stuck to the play. At the line, two shots. Free throw drops for Barrett. R.J. Barrett continuing to find consistency by not settling for things that come his way. He's got to stay within the confines of what they want to do offensively. So his game is growing. And Barrett drops them both. The Timberwolves have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Pass to McDaniels. And here's Conley. 14 points for him. It's McDaniels on the wing. Guarded by Barrett. And that one's good Mike from Conley. Conley. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Woo, I love it. Now Robinson. He's got five. Here's Grimes. Pass to Randall. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult Anthony circumstances Edwards. that required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Ali. Pass to Grimes. McDaniels against Barrett. Inside. Here's Brunson. Nice D from Anderson. The Timberwolves have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. McDaniels from long range. The shot no good. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Barrett passes to Brunson. Randall outside. Pass to Barrett. Shot clock at five. Here's Brunson. New York no good that time either. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Anderson gets the bucket. Uh, Anderson. Anderson's got seven points in the game. Time Looks out. like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now a timeout called by New York. Oh my, their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Pass to Grimes. Now here's Brunson. Here's Grimes. The three. New York, no good that time either. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Up top, Edwards. Brunson defending. Here's Gobert. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. And the stifled tower makes his presence Moving felt on the away. offensive end. He's At really developed an array of moves on the interior. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Timberwolves. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. That free throw, no good. Yes, yes, yes. 
And he's good on the second. New York has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Grimes. And here is Barrett. Looking to end the run. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out. But he's just not enough with that length. Outside Conley. Edwards against Brunson. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Brunson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Grimes. He's guarded by Conley. Outside Barrett. No good on the shot. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. McDaniels with it. He's got 12. Got it. Good job in the low post. McDaniels got four points in the quarter. The Knicks shooting at about 34% here in this game. Pass to Grimes. Yep, that one goes. He's got nine. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. Timeout called the Timberwolves. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. Hart comes in for Grimes. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in for Gobert. Prince comes in for McDaniels. Noel, he's checked in for Edwards. And it's McLaughlin in for Conley. Here's Reed. A slam dunk by Reed. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Pass to Randall. Puts up a three. Buries it from three. Randall's got seven. The balance and body control look a little bit better this season, so Randall stays on the ground in this catch-and-shoot situation and looks fluid. Now here's Anderson. Uncovered. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. Yeah, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Hart can't hit. Minnesota's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Noel, count it. And the Timberwolves lead by 21. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Outside Barrett. Pass to Hart. Back to Barrett. Three-pointer. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Back to Noel. To the paint. Tipped away. Pass to McLaughlin. Six on the shot clock. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Outside Barrett. Back to Brunson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Outside Hart. The floater. Brunson misses. Minnesota shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by New York. Right side Barrett. Lays it up and banks it in. Barrett's got four points now in the quarter. Well, he's one for five in the quarter, and his body language is saying a lot about where his confidence is. Rattled just a little bit. Maybe the next open look will start him up. Pass to Prince. Gets the three to fall. Prince has got 15. 
And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Hart goes in. Prince grabs the miss. Prince has got four rebounds now. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Randall left side. And the 17-footer goes down. Nine points in the game. Minnesota's got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. As to Prince. Here's McLaughlin. Floats one up. That shot off the mark. And New York the other way now. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. Brunson passes to Barrett. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Randall. And at last, they get one to fall. Hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Here's Noel. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! Whoa! The heat to beat the buzzer. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Back to the game after this break. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So for Minnesota right now, they've got Kyle Anderson, Jordan McLaughlin out there with Edwards. Then there's Torian Prince, and it's Reed in at the five, down low. Good intensity on defense. Kyle Anderson using the length that time and timing it well to get the rejection. MVP voting is usually somewhat contentious. What's your criteria for that award, Brent? I think it's really difficult, B.A., and I don't think there's anything wrong with people talking about it when the voters are saying year to year their criteria changes because guess what? Every season is different. So it's a very difficult award to try to pick out the very best player in the league. Winning has to have something to do with it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Edwards. At just about 85% from the line tonight, they've looked more and more comfortable as the game's gone on. Pass to Toppin. Edwards against Barrett. Down low. And Hart with a basket on the assist by Barrett. And, and they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Here's Prince. He's covered by Hart. Outside Edwards. Pass to Reed. Just five on the clock. Here's Prince. Releases. They grab their own miss. Anderson gets the bucket. Uh, and their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Now it's Hart. Well, since Commissioner Silver took over, 
Grant, it seems the league's dress code is now leaving more, let's say, uh, wiggle room. You good with that? Yeah, a lot of wiggle room, at least compared to when I played when it was more of a business casual environment. But I think it's great. Let the players be themselves. Let them be authentic. And I think in a weird kind of way, it endears these players to the fans at home watching on TV. Like a bunch of runway models before and after every game. No question, no question. Outside Edwards. Pass to Prince. Softly drops in the floater. Victorian Prince is doing it all. Damage from everywhere. Inside, outside, on the drive. Outside Hart. Here's Grimes. Barrett up top. Guarded by Edwards. Pure from three-point range. That's his third triple of the night. His second since halftime. Pass to Edwards. Timberwolves lead. 90. 71. Yeah, if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Prince. Here's Reed. Tries yet again. Hartenstein pulls it in. For New York, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Pass to Grimes. Barrett with it. There's the triple. Rebound Minnesota. Reed's got five rebounds in the game. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And Anderson. finished off by Anderson. I like how Torian Prince moves the ball consistent at getting it to his teammates within the offense. Here's Grimes. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it can be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing cultures and, and different countries together over the love of the game of basketball. Pass to McLaughlin. Shot is up. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got four rebounds in the game. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And there's a three-second violation. Three seconds. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. The Timberwolves have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Here's McLaughlin. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Jordan McLaughlin at the line. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Pass to Barrett. And it's New York with another. Yes. Timberwolves. Now here's Anderson. 94. 76. Here's McLaughlin. Outside Edwards. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. That's a bad miscue, but I think they've done a really good job keeping control of the ball throughout the game. For New York, they've gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Outside Hart. 
Back to Barrett. Shoots. Knicks foul. Isaiah Hartenstein. Third personal foul. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Reed. McDaniels comes in for Anderson. Noel, he's checked in for Prince. And Mike Conley is subbed in for McLaughlin. Outside Conley. Outside Edwards. Pass to Gobert. He shoots. And Edwards the bucket on the assist by Gobert. And the Timberwolves lead by 20. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That's his third foul so far. And Grant, as NBA players start to have more of a platform, we still hear those who say, shut up and dribble. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's silly and it's unfortunate. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. But players today, matter of fact, everybody today has a voice through their social media channels. And it just so happens that NBA players have large platforms that reach people all over the world. Yeah, don't expect the players to be anything other than themselves. The Timberwolves have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Edwards. Back to Conley. They had good work on the Mike boards Conley. as they picked up the second chance points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Now here's Toppin. McDaniels covering. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And Toppin puts a period on that play. He'll have one free throw to go. Second team foul. Obi Toppin at the line. One shot. Timberwolves have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. To the wing, right side. And that one's good from Conley. Conley's gotten four this quarter. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace Mixed action foul. here from his years R. with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force no rebounding foul. the ball. Third team foul. Elbow. Two. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? <laughs> uh, you know, B.A., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Knicks have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Outside Barrett. Outside Hart. Back to Barrett. Six to shoot. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. RJ's instincts are to score, and his instincts are taking over right now. Outside Conley. 
Here's Noel. The three ball. The Knicks with the rebound. Randall's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Here's Barrett. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them, encouraging the league to crack down on illegal screens. No way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. You got to get, get out of here. Yeah, I mean, illegal screens, do we want to see less of them? Sure. The free throw drops for Barrett. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. And Barrett drops them both. The Timberwolves have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Outside Edwards. Pass to Conley from downtown, and the three-pointer goes. Three Conley's got seven now in this quarter. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Brunson finds Hart. Outside Barrett. The three is up. He buries it from three. Barrett's got 25 points in the game. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. We had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Pass to Noel. He's off on that one. Some solid defense from Barrett. New York has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Hart passes to Randall. Now here's Brunson. Pulls it from 20. The shot won't fall. Uh, sometimes you just have an off night, guys, and that's what we've seen so far. Fast break, New York. Randall, the pass to Hart. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, Hammers the lob through. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. Lead, 105, 88. Brunson against Conley. Pulls it. Noel, that's good. Noel. Noel's got nine points here in the second half. A difficult situation for New York. Brunson passes to Randall. And here is Barrett. Back to Randall. Good D by Gobert. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time, they're not backing off. Right side, McDaniels. And he banks in the layup. And the Timberwolves lead by 21. That's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Barrett passes to Hart. Hart to down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Ooh, talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Minnesota's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Outside Conley. And for players, greatness can be defined so many ways, Mike but Conley. giving back has to be a component of that, wouldn't you say, Grant? Well, to whom much is given, much is expected. In B.A., I agree 100%. Players today understand the impact that they can have on others. I love that about the league, the players, the coaches, everyone involved, using this gift to make a change and a positive impact throughout the world. To the middle. From six feet away, it's rebounded by New York. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Timberwolves. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year.
After losing the first game, they've come back and even things up in this one. They'll play one more time in this season series after this. And propelling them to a solid win, it was a night of big plays for Mike Conley. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. Hart passes to Brunson. Clock at six. And it's Noel with a rebound. And here's Minnesota now. Outside Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. The three. Hart pulls it in. It's Barrett on the wing. Gets the three ball to go. We're finding some room there on the perimeter. The lefty, R.J. Barrett, knocks it down. Timberwolves lead, 113. And here's Conley. And so it's Minnesota easily grabbing this one. That's to walk into ball enemy ball. territory and deliver a performance like that, Without that says a lot about this one. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, folks, that's going to do.